when you really think about it, this is a game that just makes sense. Uh, there are missiles, and you command them, and it commands your respect, and there are missiles. It's Missile Command for the original Game Boy. Those missiles for you, Khrushchev. So go command my balls. Hey, speaking of testicles, this game has them. It was the Cold War, and we were like 90% sure the Russians were going to shoot their crappy communist missiles at us. Which probably wouldn't even have made it, but whatever. You want to blow up the ocean, Russia? You, that's fine. You go right ahead. We'll be over here being awesome and making movies about how awesome we are. And making video games about missiles, because we're paranoid as sh**. But we're even awesome at that. So, you know, whatever. Rocky IV siphons the ocean into a bucket. Anyway, so this game was originally released to arcades in 1980, and it was just seriously the perfect storm for Missile Command. It was the arcade golden age and the Cold War. So an arcade game about protecting cities from total nuclear annihilation, I mean, that couldn't not be a success. If this thing had topless chicks in it, it'd be in the Smithsonian. By the way, I'd like to decide what's in the Smithsonian. Because I might put Missile Command in there anyway. This is one of the greatest arcade games from an era of great arcade games. And a pretty decent Game Boy game, too. So obviously, this is fun just to go back to for the cultural significance. But I mean, it's also a pretty awesome game. You know, there's a simplicity and addictiveness to Missile Command that just never lets you down. And I think a huge part of that is that it's always different. You know, the missiles are always on a different path and a different angle. No two games are ever quite the same. So it's not like you're memorizing levels or anything. You have to master the mechanics and the timing. Otherwise, Sydney's f***ed. And from what I understand, it, this is a delightful city. So, I mean, let's try not to f*** Sydney. Well, like a lot of arcade games, uh, the Game Boy version got some interesting updates and even improvements. So, for example, in this version, every level's a different city. And like a real city, which is cool. You even get little landmarks in the background. And they look nice given the platform, too. You know, Cairo has pyramids, New York's got the Statue of Liberty. So there's an aesthetic charm, as well as a sense of progression, that are actually improvements from the arcade original, which is awesome. So, what's not as awesome? Uh, well, playing Missile Command with a D-pad, that's like the furthest thing from awesome. We're actually playing it on the GameCube here, using the Game Boy adapter. And I mean, it's not like it's any better with the GameCube controller either. This version's a little jerky regardless of how you play. So obviously, if you're familiar with the trackball, I mean, you're gonna be missing it pretty desperately here on the Game Boy. But I mean, that that's not to say this is a catastrophe either. I mean, I mean, technically, nuclear annihilation is a catastrophe, but I'm talking about the gameplay. And it's really not that bad. I mean, it's, a, it's about as good as Missile Command can be with a D-pad on the Game Boy. Plus, it's like the paranoia of an entire nation right in your pocket, which looks like a massive erection. Missile Command is an arcade classic, much in the same way Burger Time and Donkey Kong and Elevator Action are arcade classics. And I think one of the coolest things about the Game Boy library is how it handled those arcade classics. Specifically, it added to them and made them even more awesome. Now listen, I wouldn't put Missile Command on quite the same level, but it's definitely in the same ballpark on the Game Boy. Unless the Russians destroy it, then there's no ballpark. It's Missile Command for the original Game Boy. <laughs>